The Amazing Grace is just getting better and better each week, you guys. And this episode was a mega, like, I'm, what yes. country were they out of? Her? Totally They're still in now. Chile. Chile, okay. So here was the thing. It was so action-packed. Oh, you and I both agreed. If they're going to stick with the 90 minutes, they just need to make every episode yeah, a mega-like because this was actually There wasn't a, a part where it lulled and you got bored or yes. tired. It was always going, going, going. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay, so first detour. Walk me through this. So we had Bicicleta versus Boladora. Mm -hmm. So for B most people did uh, Bicicleta. But because basically, it was, looked easier, in my Yeah, opinion. so basically you had to take turns getting on a bike, and you had to... It's this weird recycling thing they do where they crush up plastic mm -hmm. there. And you had to fill a trash can full of these chips of, of It's sustainable, plastic. question mark. And a lot of teams were like, oh, this is hard. Yeah. You know, uh, the pink team, I can never remember the names. Um, they kind of struggled. Amber and Vinny. Yeah. But then Rod, powerhouse through Well, it. of course. Like, right? I mean, look at the guy. Right. Yeah. And th at the beginning here, you also see uh, the on the an alliance start to kind start of to form really start to yeah. form because they all follow Danny and his mom mm -hmm. straight mm -hmm. there. So you have Danny, his mom, Rod and Letitia and uh, Amber and Vinny. Amber and Vinny. Yeah. yeah. Which is also like an interesting three pairs. I feel like that. Right. They're all alliance. very diverse. Yeah. Um, but then on the other side, you have the Bulladora, which only a couple teams did. And you basically had to 10 chances together before you had to start over. And you both had to rope like a, yeah. the bull's leg. It was a fake bull. Don't really know the best way to explain the roping no, part, and but this looked hard and kind of not my. Thing. Your aim yeah. had, and timing had to be very accurate. Yeah. on that one. Yeah, hands down. If this was me, I would have done the bike. So yeah, the, I feel like the bike would have been probably the easier way to go. Yeah. So one. then we move into the first roadblock, which was who's got a good sense of direction. This was a very interesting little challenge because mm -hmm. essentially you were like hopping in this race car of sorts and going on this track, and you essentially had to remember the path. Yeah. Because at the end there was a puzzle that you had to put together yeah. based see, off the direction. Here's the thing: that puzzle is only going together. One way, uh -huh. and I think a lot of people are overcomplicating the puzzle. Okay, I'm glad you said that though, because I was kind of thinking that too. I'm like, even if yeah. you were totally freaked out in the car and had zero idea what mm -hmm. happened, I do feel like you could kind of piece together yeah. based off the well, look of it. Because a lot of them started the start line down in like the bottom corner, but then like the line would be going off the board. It's like, okay, obviously that's mm -hmm. not where that goes. Yeah. So. Very it was interesting. interesting. Well, and this is where we see kind of that alliance really like yeah. increasing and really helping each other. Amber and Vinny got done Amber first. Amber has a full on breakdown because she feels like she needs to help the mom and son, which I thought was just bizarre. But yeah. I don't know. That's what they're doing, and it worked well for them this episode. Which, so whatever. It felt like full on almost cheating. But a little bit like cheating. Because they for literally sure. were like, this goes here, this goes yeah. there, that goes there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the exact rules along those lines sure. of the Amazing Race, but you never know. But who's to say? So right. then we move into the second roadblock, because this is a mega leg, so it was who wants to score. I would do horrible at this. I just I think this put would that be out so there. fun. But it would be fun. But also, it's not a shock that I would do horrible at this. But anyway, <laughs> it was almost like bubble soccer, more or less, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much. And so I don't remember how... Did they have to score so many times they to block it? They had to just or? get in the, the goal once. Once, Because okay. they, they were on a team with other pillars, and then they were, there was another group yeah. of opposite players Honestly, now. the best part of this was watching the mom because she was like, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. And then she gets up and does right. it. And I'm like, girl, you psych yourself well, out every And she had time. basically almost stroked out in the car just beforehand before she got here. She's kind of growing on me. Like, I'm kind of mildly obsessed with her just because right. her and her son's dynamic is incredibly funny. Oh, on for sure. Absolutely. So, yes. So then we move into the second detour of the episode, which is who did it or what's your beef? I don't think anyone did who no. did it, right? They did who did it where you'd have to like dust for fingerprints and no one did it. I wanted to see this one Which so bad. Which kind of looks bad. fun. I feel like all of us kind of want to be like detectives, you right? know, at, at some point in our lives. I think it's funny that no one did this, but they did, they did the and, beef one, yeah. which almost seemed... I don't want to say more complicated, but definitely not as easy as it came right. off. Well, so. I mean, who, let's be honest. How many people actually know cuts of meat and then let alone know those cuts, have to learn those cuts of meat in a different language? Yeah. And, and then know? also, wasn't there like a memory aspect to it too? Yeah, you had to you're... place it. Well, they, they had like the cow diagram laid out yeah. with the names of it that they had just learned. Oh, and they had to actually yeah. place it on the diagrams. And I mean, for the most part, they did okay. But you also had this uh, group coming again. And yeah. they, the only three people, teams could do it at once. They took over all of it. Helped each other out. Yeah. And then when the other two teams came in, they were like, hey, you want to help us? And they completely got it. They iced them out. Yeah, the alliance was kind of the focal point of this episode. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested to see if they keep being as helpful th on the next episode throughout this season. It's going to fall apart at some yeah. point. Yeah, so then we get to the pit stop. First place this time was not Ricky and Cesar. Finally. It was Juan and Shane, which was exciting to see a different team kind yep. of emerge and at the top. They're the ones I'm cheering for this season. Yeah, so I was they're very doing happy. really well. And then last place was the grandparents, Derek and Shalisa. I was kind of sad to see them go. They were super fun to watch. They this are. Season. Well, and they were just so positive, and you know, the twins, uh, they're not the twins, the cousins called mm -hmm. them grand, you know, grandma and grandpa. Yeah, and yeah. So very sad to see them go. But Yes, so we'll see what happens on the brand new episode tomorrow night, Amazing Race on CBS, or you can stream on Paramount Plus. And Ozarks Live will be right back. Stay with us.